Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Ogg. This is our video weather blog, Weather Overtime, designed for you to pick up whenever you want to and give you the complete forecast plus a little bit extra as we go throughout the rest of the day. We'll talk about severe weather. We've got a lot going on already in the tropics as we head out of July and into August. We're also keeping our eyes on some thunderstorms out west around Little Rock early this morning, drifting on down to the southeast. These will probably not survive in the form that they're in right now, probably dwindling down towards showers and an occasional thunderstorm, but more chances of thunderstorms will be possible into parts of the Mid-South as we get into the course of the rest of the next several hours and as well as the next couple of days as well. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Forecast in the red bar down at the bottom section of your screen. Winds out of the southwest. Temperatures in the lower 90s today. Mostly cloudy skies with showers and thunderstorms out there tonight. Winds continue out of the southwest. Partly to mostly cloudy skies and low temperatures. Let me see. Right back into the lower 70s or so. We'll talk more about the complete forecast coming up here in just a little while. Expecting again the possibility of more of these showers and thunderstorms across parts of the Mid-South moving on through through lunchtime and into this afternoon and this evening. Again, severe weather possibilities doesn't really look like a major problem, but we will be watching for the redevelopment of some of these showers and thunderstorms. The good news, it looks like, that we may get a bit of a break if the rain begins to cool things off by just a little bit, we should see, again, less chances of showers and thunderstorms as we get into, again, the next several hours. That mess coming out of Arkansas dwindling by just a bit, but you can see the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms starting to redevelop as we look back into around portions of eastern Arkansas, moving on out of the Mid-South area, heading on over to the east of us, and then continue throughout the course of the rest of the day today, so not really seeing, again, a major amount of concern from anything involving showers or thunderstorms out there of a severe nature, but we will be keeping a very close eye on that, so stay tuned for more with that on News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day today, and with your complete forecast as well into tonight and the next couple of days. Cough temp decks are exclusive and very tongue-in-cheek. Coffee temperature recommendation index showing again probably a good idea to head toward icy frothed coolness instead of a hot cup of java but remember if you scald your mouth or get a brain freeze that's your own fault not ours graceland camera warm and humid but getting geared up for elvis week which is going to be happening here in just about two weeks or so and looking very nice in and around the grounds of the king of rock and roll in Memphis. Ole Miss campus, a little bit of sunshine this morning. Paint job on the brand new area infield. Looking very nice as things wrap up. And a few walkers and joggers out across the area of Oxford, Mississippi for this morning. Down toward the bottom portion of your screen. Looks like a little bit of maintenance work going on there. Or maybe some stretching out happening into around the area. Downtown Memphis, no rainfall to report. The St. Jude Cake Research Camera in downtown. Not really showing again a great deal of activity for early Sunday morning. Olive from former Mayor Sam Reichard in Mississippi showing a lot of clouds looking back toward the northwest around City Hall early Sunday morning very much on the quiet side here. Yesterday's high temperature 92 degrees in Memphis national high temperature as we keep track from the Weather Prediction Center around the area of southwestern parts of the United States. Death Valley once again raining it in for the hottest temperature across the country of 121 degrees today. Far cry from what we saw in Memphis but still on the hot side out there. Pretty close to normal actually. 92 the high yesterday normal high for this time of the year, 92, 74 the normal low, 72 the low temperature as we went through yesterday morning, 57 the record low. When you start getting into record low temperatures in the 50s and 60s, you know you are in the thick of summertime for this portion of the country. Not only picking up too much in the way of earthquakes, one or two just north of the Mid-South in about the last 24 to 36 hours, but beyond that, things have been quiet across the area. Want to know more? All you have to do is head to SERI, the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis, and or earthquakes.usgs.gov for more information about what's rocking and rolling around our planet. Precipitation, six hundredths of an inch yesterday. We're going to finish with it up with a very good surplus for the month of July, looking at three and a half inches plus over for the month and nearly a foot over for the entire year for the Memphis area. So getting some good news in where it comes to rainfall purposes across much of the Mid-South area. So no major problems out there. Now, thanks to our danger at this time, according to local forestry websites and state information fire indexes showing low conditions around all of the News Channel 3 states, Tennessee, Arkansas, 
and Mississippi. So not seeing anything in the way of major wildfire danger out there. Likewise, there are no burn bans in effect across the Mid-South area for right now. Mississippi, none issued. Arkansas, none issued. Now for Tennessee, the state of Tennessee does not issue anything in the way of burn bans. They do not actually issue anything unless it's of an extraordinary type nature, a very big drought situation and nothing like that is usually issued unless it's absolutely necessary. You do need burn permits. And if you'd like to know more about that, contact your local fire officials or the State Department of Forestry, and they'll be glad to help you out on that. Moon is at waning crescent. Rose this morning quite beautifully. It'll be rising again very early tomorrow morning, just around sunrise, just before sunrise, as we go toward the new moon, which should be happening just past Monday or so. Sun today looking at about 13 hours plus, 30 minutes today, just under that as we go into tomorrow as we start losing daylight heading toward the winter time hours as we continue to lose more and more daylight hours over the next several days and weeks. Chances of showers and thunderstorms off and on as temperatures rise into the mid 80s by mid to late morning. Early afternoon around lunchtime temperatures back in the high 80s to low 90s with a chance of showers and thunderstorms just about any place across the mid-south. More concentrated areas of showers and thunderstorms will be possible into Sunday afternoon and evening. Right before News Channel 3 at 10 there could be some leftover showers and thunderstorms right through about midnight and into around News Channel 3 daybreak starting tomorrow morning at 4.30. Don't forget about Todd Demers' forecast coming up starting bright and early at 4.30. Your seven-day forecast temperatures spot on normal for this time of the year back in the lower 90s today with isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms. The forecast over the next few days, lower 90s for highs on Monday, also for Tuesday with isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms early, better chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the afternoon, but as you can see, we're not exactly looking at huge amounts of rainfall potential. 20, 30, 40 percent possibility out there into the next several days, into next weekend. Temperatures don't change that much, lower to mid 90s for highs, mid to upper 70s for lows, isolated thunderstorms out there. Repeat that time 70 and you got a pretty good idea of what to expect. Lower 90s as we head toward the end of next weekend. Less of a chance of rain on Monday, but by next Tuesday we ramp that up to about a two-thirds percent chance out there across the entire Mid-South. So stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates as this changes over the course of the next several days and keep an eye on severe weather potential as well. Severe weather in the bright green shaded category, a marginal risk for eastern Arkansas and parts of northwestern Mississippi according to the Storm Prediction Center. Looking at the main threat to be isolated severe storm clusters, damaging winds and slow moving storms could drop some heavy amounts of rainfall so we could be looking at the possibility of some flash flooding out there throughout the rest of Sunday and into early this evening, mainly west of the metro area Area, but if you're in northeast Arkansas by the Boot Hill, northwest and southwest Tennessee, and much of northern Mississippi, I would keep a very close eye on what's going on across the area as we see again that potential for maybe some small hail, some gusty winds out there. Outdoor activities, remember if you can see thunder, see lightning or hear thunder, you definitely need to be back indoors again to make certain that you are in a safe place out across the mid south Doesn't look like a widespread threat, but be a problem out as we go into the course of the next several days. So please keep that in mind and we'll keep you advised on News Channel 3 throughout the course of the day today and of course into the weekend and next week. Also want to update you on this. It's not affecting the Mid-South directly at this time, but we are watching a couple of systems along with the National Hurricane Center. We've got Invest 97L, Invest short for investigations, and Invest 96L a little bit farther out into the tropics. Now we're also watching again for the potential of these storms moving to the west-northwest. Invest 97L will, looks like, be again making its way a little bit further along the Caribbean and possibly heading into the Southern Caribbean, maybe into the Gulf of Mexico after a brief foray over the Yucatan Peninsula. These spaghetti plot models keep us updated as to what's going on, but notice that the storm models have quite a wide range of where they think the storms, these two storms, are going to be going. So something to think about if you have any plans for traveling to either the East Coast states or the Gulf Coast states. If you're heading down that direction, please keep that in mind. And also remember that we are coming close to the peak of hurricane season as we get into the next several days and weeks. We'll be looking at that happening as we get into around September. Again, rising up the possibility of 
of showers and thunderstorms relatively soon, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and the National Hurricane Center for more on that as we get into what could be a fairly busy season. Thanking Cy Rooster Davenport for a great sunrise shot there, and sir, pardon me, sunset shot, sunset from Tipton County from Angie Calvin Milner, and sunrise from Deborah J54 in Humble, Tennessee. Like to see what they send in or send some in yourself, Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. Also sending in some great stuff to Instagram. Catch my forecast on the EAB Network, Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3, and of course throughout the week on AM 730, Monday through Friday mornings on radio weather on Talkback Live with Bob and Josh and Memphis in the morning as well. Updates on your forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10 and also at WREG.com slash weather. From the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Email at the top of the screen. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of WREG's News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.